Engines has gone out and waiting for an update on what our ship status is. We were approaching uh, that ship engine cutoff time, um, so just just waiting to hear. So obviously we've got booster back, booster on the launch tower in the chopstick arms, uh, but we are waiting to get an update now on the ship. As we were, we were expecting ship engine cut off about 40 seconds ago. We saw some of those engines start to go out prior to that point, and so right now we are we are just standing by to try and get the latest word on where we are with ships. So stick with us for just a couple of minutes as we wait to hear some updates. Now, if you just recently joined us, uh, you might want to hit rewind and go back about nine, ten minutes ago to when Starship lifted off uh, from the launch tower that you see there. Um, we had a gorgeous ascent uh, followed by a stage separation where the ship separated from the super heavy booster. The booster performed a flip maneuver and returned back to the Gulf Coast here. There you can see it on your screen. Uh, obviously a successful catch back at the launch tower, uh, which is something that we were all hoping to see and really couldn't ask for a more beautiful background with those blue skies uh, and blue water there. Uh, as Dan said, we are standing by for an update on the ship um, that had ignited its engines and started making its way uh, up to space. So uh, standing by for more info on that. But wow, what, what an experience to see that take off uh, and for that booster to come back. Uh, you can see it there up close on your screen to the, the place that it launched from. Uh, once again, there were thousands of uh, catch commit criteria, uh, which is basically just all the things that we have to assess and evaluate and basically make sure that they are um, make sure that everything is clear and acceptable conditions, both on the vehicle side uh, as well as the tower side in order to enable that catch. So um, obviously from the last two flights that we have done where uh, the uh, flight six we attempted but had to divert into the ocean and then on flight five we did have the first ever successful catch of the booster. We used the learnings of those two flights to hone in that catch commit criteria um, and we saw success today which is uh, pretty awesome. Yeah. And just a quick status check. So we're, we currently do not have comms uh, with the ship. So. Uh, trying to figure out exactly when that happened and exactly what happened. So obviously the flight controllers right now uh, going through their data, uh, looking to make sure it's not anything instrumentation on the ship, but actually uh, try and get us a status. So again, we're gonna we're gonna keep listening in on this. We'll give you an update as soon as we have a little bit more. So for now, stage one, back in the tower, waiting to find out a little bit more about stage two. So if you are just tuning in, we caught a booster, uh, but we are still waiting to find out a little bit more uh, on the ship. So it had successfully separated. We did that hot staging maneuver. We did see all six of ship's engines on the way uphill during its ascent. But as we were getting to the end of that ascent burn, we saw engines dropping out on telemetry, and we have since lost contact with the ship. So again, we're still listening in on the loops, trying to figure out how much we can get right now. Uh, but st again, stick with us. We'll bring you updates as soon as we hear them. Uh, really exciting. We were able to catch the booster today. Uh, obviously, we want to get the ship all the way over to the Indian Ocean. Um, 
may not be able to do that at this point, but we'll give you some updates as soon as we hear a little bit more about the ship. Uh, for those that didn't catch uh, earlier, this was a, uh, a new version of the ship. This was its debut flight. Um, so a lot of learnings here for sure um, as we continue to tune in and, and listen in with the teams and try to gather more information uh, to understand uh, where we stand with the ship. But um, as Dan mentioned before, teams are trying to make sure uh, that it's not an instrumentation error. Uh, we want to find out if it's, you know, did we just lose communication or, um, or did something else happen with the ship? So teams are actively working, trying to figure out uh, what we can, um, what we can find out, and uh, we're continuing to listen in and uh, find out more information to share as we can. But as we said before, uh, and you can see it there on your screen, uh, what a beautiful, beautiful sight to see another booster back at the launch tower uh, that was successfully caught just minutes ago uh, after uh, sending the ship off into space and uh, having seen it for the first time with my own eyeballs in person, uh, it was pretty awesome. And uh, yeah, the the thunder-like sonic boom was uh, was really fun to experience. <laughs> yeah, um, so we are getting a little bit more. So we we did lose all communications with the ship. Um, so I mean that is essentially telling us that we had an anomaly with with that upper stage. Um, so we were just coming up to the end of that ascent burn for the ship uh, when we stopped until or when we um, started to lose uh, a couple of the engines, we saw those dropping out and then we did lose uh, telemetry from the ship. So that means we didn't have contact with it. So at this point, we are assuming that the ship has been lost. Um, so this was a brand new vehicle, essentially. This was kind of an upgrade version. So with that, there's a lot of things you're upgrading, but there's a lot of things you're gonna new learn as all of those systems are now interacting with each other for the first time. Uh, but at this point, uh, we did lose the upper stage of the ship. So uh, again, we're going we're gonna to listen in and try and figure out a little bit more about what happened. And obviously, we'll do kind of a full breakdown once we get smarter ourselves yeah. uh, in the coming hours and days as well. For sure. Now, uh, for those that uh, have recently tuned in, we're now a little over T plus 16 and a half minutes after liftoff. Uh, we do believe that we have lost the ship during its ascent phase. It's uh, successfully separated from the super heavy booster. Um, but uh, at, during that ascent phase, a couple of the engines dropped out. And then shortly thereafter, we lost communication with the vehicle. So we are assuming that we have lost the ship, uh, but we are standing by to confirm that. And once we can, we will. Um, but this was a new version of the ship, of Starship, and uh, it was intentionally designed uh, and flown in order to basically test the envelope, um, as we have done with every one of these test flights, the keyword there being test, uh, and really trying to understand the boundaries and the maximums uh, for the ability of this vehicle to fly and understand where those boundaries are. So um, we always knew that uh, excitement is guaranteed uh, today, uh, success not guaranteed. And uh, so, yeah, we are standing by to see if we can learn more about uh, the status of the ship.
Thanks, everyone, for continuing to stick around uh, as we were checking in on the status of the ship. At this point in time, we can confirm that we did lose the ship. Um, however, Starship, uh, the total vehicle, did have uh, an on-time liftoff at 4.37 p.m. Central Time from the launch pad just behind us at Starbase, Texas. Uh, gorgeous ascent and successful stage separation. The booster uh, pushed the ship off and or, sorry, the ship disconnected uh, during that stage separation. The booster came back for a successful, the, six, the second ever booster catch uh, at the launch tower, which was pretty incredible to see. Yeah, it was great to see the booster come down, but uh, we are obviously bummed out about ship. Uh, it looked like we lost contact with it a little under eight and a half minutes into flight. That's roughly when you start to get to that main engine cutoff. Um, we obviously need to go through all the data. It's going to take some time. In the next hours, days, we're going to figure out exactly what happened, come back, fly the next one, get even farther. Reminder, it's a test. It's a flight test. It's an experimental vehicle. Um, so we'll figure out what what ended our day today and make sure it doesn't end our day tomorrow. So uh, we're, as we do that, we're going to continue to provide you updates on our X account on SpaceX.com. So just continue to tune in there. As we learn what happened, we'll be ready to share it. Exactly. So for now, we are going to wrap up our webcast. We'd like to thank the folks in the county uh, for supporting the launch, as well as the agencies that enable us to launch, and of course, to our viewers for tuning in. And thank you, Kate, for coming down, <laughs> doing this with me. This was, it was great to have you here. I'd do it again in a heartbeat. <laughs> All right. Well, that'll do it for us. We'll see you guys at the next Starship flight test.